Good morning! Let's chase away the gloomy day vibe with a delicious pastry and coffee. Today's destination, Forno in Bethnal Green. We got the burrata and copa sandwich with ciabatta bread. I wouldn't really start this set like a broccoli in it. Yeah. The other sandwich has vegetables in it. Pana chocolate. This is like the more buttery one compared to the airy. No deal time. You know what? Whenever I watch my videos, there's always food on my face and I have to edit it so much. But I can't eat the cream bun, like even the people before us didn't finish their cream bun. But the, those ones are usually surprisingly not that thick. Yeah, I mean I like light, light cream but I just I feel like it's not my a bit jalak. This is is really rustic traditional pastries rather than the cool hip new fancy stuff. It's good overall though. We're at the Hackney Coffee Company. I'm gonna get some work done. This place is so pretty. We're at E5 Bakehouse now and it looks super cool. We're gonna try and get a seat. Gave E5 Bakehouse a miss because it was so busy in there. And then also, nothing on the menu looked super good to us. Plus, we heard people complaining the service was slow. <laughs> so we didn't want to wait, so we just left. Oops. So we're gonna go try Snappery East now. Hopefully that will be way better. Ah, the nerd. That's a big bin right inside. <laughs> it's not too bad right now, right? Hi, I get a slice of the courgette pizza. Can I have the middle slice actually? We're at the Snappery East now instead. The pastries here look so much better than E5 Bakehouse and the vibes are a lot more chilled out. It's tense seating outside but it's really warm here so we're gonna grab food here instead. And the pastries look so good. What do you want? Do you see the pizza? Yeah. Are you still want the sandwich or what? The courgette pizza and a cardamom bun and also a mushroom nut. Zucchini olives. I want to get a cheese bite, but I feel like I'm going to burn my mouth. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I don't know. It's really good. It's not too overpoweringly and sickly sweet like some buns are. It just tastes very subtle and bready. Mm. We're both filled with carbs and I think I'm gonna be done with pastries and bread for a while. But I'm so glad I managed to finally head to this part of town. <laughs> Never ever close to Hackney or Bethnal Green. So it was nice to come and visit the area. Good morning. On today's agenda, I have a call with a wedding supplier who's potentially gonna be doing the flowers for a wedding and table decor. And then I also have a double class today. I have yoga in the morning and then I have pilates in the afternoon, so wish me luck. 
Honestly, I have been doing zero exercise, so I'm gonna kickstart that habit again. I'm heading to my favorite bagel store and it's Bagel Bake and I'm gonna get a salt beef bagel. It's the best. I got my bagel and I'm gonna go see if I can sit somewhere and eat it. I'm sitting at a park called Boundary Gardens nearby the bakery and I'm sitting on a park bench and I'm just gonna eat my bagel here. It's the least stressful way to do it. I'm super happy as well because when I got there, I brought out new salt beef so it's really fresh and hot so let's give it a try. Look at this sandwich, it looks so good. It was only $6.50 as well. It has salt beef, pickles, mustard. Can I get a skinny latte, please? Oh, that's fine, that's all. To drink it, please. Thank you. I'm at the Common Press for some coffee now and it's a bookstore with a coffee shop. It's really cute. Just finished my Pilates class and I'm on my way home now. I think I'm gonna make some noodles for dinner today. I'm going to make some pan mi which is a type of noodle that we always have at home. I'm gonna make it from scratch and I made the broth and chicken yesterday so today it's just all about the noodles. After a while of kneading, your dough should not be so sticky anymore. And I'm just going to pick up all the other pieces that I've left behind and incorporate that in. And I'm going to knead it for about 5 minutes, and then I'll leave it to rest for 15 minutes. I'm just going to prep the vegetables for the toppings. I'm just going to have zucchini, which is not very Asian, but that's all the vegetables I have in my fridge right now. So we'll just go with that. And I'm going to add some spring onions to top off the noodles and also to flavor the broth a little. I'm going to roll it quite thin because I like my noodles a lot thinner. But you can roll it to any thickness you desire. It is pretty elastic-y, so once you stretch it out, it kind of goes back in. So you have to do it quite strongly. I think this circle is about 35 centimeters, and it's really thin. It's gonna blow it up quite a lot when you start to boil it, so I like to go as thin as I possibly can. When you're boiling it, make sure you add a lot of water because it's gonna be very starchy. And in order to make sure your noodles don't stick to each other, you should also add some oil into the boiling water. I'm going to do this torn style, so I'm gonna slowly tear it and boil everything. This is what the noodles look like when they're cooked, and I'm just going to assemble a bowl. This is the broth that I made yesterday. It's a chicken abalone broth. I'm going to skim off all the fat. <laughs> 